أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله يستعينه وأستغفره وأستهديه وأؤمن به ولا أكفره وأؤاد من يكفر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول أما بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كزل أفوا وأمر بالأرف وأعرض عن الجاهلين صدق الله العظيم I seek, refu- I seek refuge with Allah from Satan rejected in the name of Allah who is most gracious, most merciful Alhamdulillah once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and guidance of coming out and offering our Juma Salah. Praise be to Allah. To Him we keep in the right path. And His protection we seek. Of His signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. And of His signs is that He create for you mates from yourselves, that you might find quiet, of mine in them and put between you love and compassion. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth. All are obedient to him. To him belongs he is the one who originates the creation then reproduce it. To him is the most exalted state in the heavens and the earth and he is the mighty the wise I bear witness that Muhammad upon whom be peace is his servant and messenger the leader of mankind to the right way the best of men and the last of the messengers may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala best of blessings and send salutation to our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our leader to goodness and happiness in this life and the hereafter. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, for today's uh, khutbah I have chosen a very simple topic, and that is forgiveness. During the month of Ramadan, you know, we make uh, a simple dua. Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afwafa fafu'anni. The meaning of which, O Allah, you are all forgiven. You love forgiveness. So forgive me. And today's topic will be forgiveness. As a matter of fact, human forgiveness. It is understood that one of the beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he is the forgiver. He taught us even how to forgive those who have done injustice to us. And this subject is very important in our daily lives. If we acquire this characteristic, we will be able to live in peace and harmony in this world. And we will be rewarded in the hereafter. This concept of tolerance and forgiveness is mentioned in the Holy Quran approximately 35 times. And it was the practice of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam, in his lifespan. The different forms of, forg- of the word forgiveness, al-afu, mentioned in the Holy, Holy Quran, such as 
afu afwa afa wana anafu ya afu afina an ufu ufia an afu afu wan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself he is af al afu in surah 58 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim alladhina yuzahiruna minakum min nisaihim ma hunna ummahatihim in ummahatuhum illa illa allah wal waladnahum innahum layaquluna munkaram min alqawl wa zura wa inna allah la ghafur la afuwan ghafur the meaning of which and in fact they use words both iniquitous and false but truly allah is one that blots out sins and forgives again and again chapter 58 ayah 2 again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself in surah al hajj that he is the forgiver and helper to those where injustice where was inflicted upon them a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim zalika wa man aqaba bi mislihi ma ukiba thumma bu thumma bugiya alayhi layan suran allah inna allah la afuwun ghafur the meaning of which that is so and if one has retaliated to no greater extent than the in jury he receives and is again set upon in ordinately allah is one that blots out sins and forgives ag- again and again chapter 22 ayah 60 my dear brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that his forgiveness is to those who forgive others in surah nisa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us again a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim in tubdu khayran aw tukfuhu aw ta'fu an su'in fa inna Allah kana afuwan qadira the meaning of which whether you publish a good deed or conceal it or cover evil with pardon verily allah doeth blot out sins and has power in the judgment of values chapter 4 ayah 149 my dear brothers and sisters it is mentioned in the holy quran that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the forgiver and that he forgives many of our mistakes again He has told us in the Holy Quran more or less A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim wa ma asabakum min musibatin fa bima kasabat aydikum wa ya'fu an kasir and the meaning of which whatever misfortune happens to you is because of the things your hands have wrought and for many of them he grants forgiveness chapter 42 ayah 30 and again in surah ashura allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us that it is he who accepts repentance and it is he who forgives our mistakes as stated in the holy quran a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim وَهُوَ الَّذِي يَقْبَلُ التَّوْبَةَ 
wa huwa alladhi yaqbalu tawbata an ibadihi wa ya'fu an sayyati wa ya'lamu ma taf'alun the meaning of which he is the one that accept repentance from his servants and forgive sins and he knows all that you do chapter 42 ayah 25 my dear brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed us to forgive others in our daily dealings whoever forgives other people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him and his person will be rewarded on the day of judgment in surah al-nur the light allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us of the following a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim wala ya'ati wala ya'ata lil ulul fadli minkum wasa'ati an yu'tu ulil qurba wal masakina wal muhajirina fi sabilillah wal ya'fu wal yasfahu ala tuhibbuna an yaghfirallahu lakum wallahu ghafurur rahim and the meaning of which let not those among you who are endued with grace and amplitude of means resolve by oath against helping their kinsmen those in one and those who have left their homes in Allah's cause let them forgive and overlook do you not wish that Allah should forgive you for Allah is of forgiving most merciful chapter 24 ayah 22 and in another place again in surah nisa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us to forgive those who have done harm to us in so doing he will forgive us for our previous mistakes and then he will reward us again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim in tubdu khayran aw tukfuhu aw ta'fu an su'in fa inna allaha kana afuwan qadira whether he publish a good deed or conceal it or cover evil with pardon verily allah doeth blot out sins and has power in the judgment of values Chapter 4 ayah 149 My dear brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us to raise our hands and make dua He taught us to ask him for forgiveness and mercy And again in surah Baqarah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us to say to him A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim La yukallifu Allahu nafsan illa usaha laha ma kasabat wa alayha ma ktasabat Rabbana la tu'akhizna in nasina aw aqtana Rabbana wa la tahmil alayna isran kama hamaltahu ala alladhina min qablina Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la taqata alana bi wa'afu anna wa ghafir lana wa rahamna anta maulana fansurna ala alqawmil kafirin meaning of which blot out our sins and grant us forgiveness have mercy on us thou art our protector help us against those who stand against thee and this ayah is taken from surah bakara bakara ayah 286 my dear brothers and sisters 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught his holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to practice forgiveness even to his enemies so as to give them a good example in life. In this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Araf, the heights, A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim Kuzil afwa wa amur bil urfi wa arid anil jahilin and the meaning of which hold to forgiveness hold to forgiveness command what is right but turn away from the ignorant chapter 7 ayah 199 in this respect the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked angel jibril alayhisalam about forgiveness and the angel jibril alayhisalam told him more or less allah commanded you O Prophet, to forgive those who harm you, forgive those who deny you, and visit those who sever their relations with you. The Holy Prophet wasallam, explained this instruction to his fellow Muslims by advising them. Narrated Ubaid bin Kaab radiallahu an, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever is happy to have good housing and to have more rewards, let him forgive those who harm him, forgive those who deny him, and visit those who sever their relations to him. And the Prophet wasallam explained the concept of forgiveness of one person to the other by saying, Three things I swear with them. Three things I swear with them. Never a, do, never a donation decreases. Allah increases the, dis, the dignity of a person through forgiveness. And any person who is humble, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise his rank. My dear brothers and sisters, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained to us that on the day of judgment, forgiveness is given to those who forgive others. They are to be rewarded and, to, and are to enter Jannah. Reported by Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when the day of judgment takes place, a call will, would be heard saying, where are those who forgive other people? Come forth towards your Lord and receive your rewards. It is a truth that any Muslim who forgive others is indeed going to enter Jannah. My dear brothers and sisters, let me remind you of an ayah that when you apply its meaning in your daily life, you will be recorded in the sight of Almighty Allah as amongst the best of his creatures. This group of people are called as muttaqin and as muhsinin. In Surah Al-Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim wasari'u ila magfiratim mir rabbikum wa jannatin ardu has samawatu wal ard u indat lil muttaqin alladhina yunfikuna fi sarra'i wa dara'i wal kazimin al ghais wal afina anin nas wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin the meaning of which be quiet or be quick in the race for forgiveness from your Lord and for a garden whose wit is that of the whole of the heavens and of the earth. Prepare for the righteous, those who spend freely, whether in prosperity or in adversity, who restrain anger and pardon all men. For Allah loves those who do good. Chapter 3. 
Isaiah 133 and 134. My dear brothers and sisters, I hope and pray that we are to be considered among these good people, inshallah. I hope that every one of us will take the initiative to forgive one another. Please don't have jealousy and don't envy one another. Don't talk against one another. Don't disdain or defame one another. Don't accuse one another. Please try to keep your friendly and brotherly relations with one another. You are Muslims first, last, and forever. You are to help and to safeguard one another. You are to protect and to defend one another. You are to forgive one another for the mistakes committed by any one of you. If you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you for your mistakes, sins and wrongdoing, then remember that your fellow people do expect your forgiveness. They don't want to be reminded of their mistakes and shortcomings. They wish to be reminded of their good deeds and their achievements. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember the good things that others have done and achieved. Let us remember the good favors that others have done for us. Let us not remember the mistakes of others. Otherwise, the other group of people will remember our mistakes, our sins, and our mischiefs. My dear brothers and sisters, each one should be busy with his own mistakes and should try to correct himself. Each one should forgive each other and each one should try to bring peace, harmony, concord, and happiness to all. Remember, when we point this finger to someone else, four is pointing back at us. My dear brothers and sisters, as human beings, we are weak. We are weak. We are very weak. And if we are wrong, we, it is human nature to fight back. My dear brothers and sisters, here we supposed to forgive one another. Let us forgive one another. If we for, want forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we first have to forgive one another. And then inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer us. Allahumma innaka afu an tuhibul afwa fafu anna. Each one should forgive each other and each should try to bring peace, harmony, concord and happiness to all. I hope and pray that each one will play his effective role in achieving such a type of life among the Muslim people. It is reported by Anas radiallahu an that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, don't hate one another. Don't envy one another. Don't depart one another and don't sever your relationship with one another. However, you, the servants of Allah, should be brothers to one another. It is not lawful for a Muslim to depart his brother over three days. My dear brothers and sisters, we have this beautiful deen of Al-Islam, the Quran, and we have the ways of our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If we could implement these little things, then inshallah we will be better human beings. Not only to our society, but to our family as well. It is not, uh, you know, too big. We shouldn't be too big and too proud to say, I am sorry. You know, please, brother, forgive me. You know, when we have this pride, if we have uh, one ounce of pride, then we wouldn't enter that jannah. You know, pride is something of the shaitan. We know shaitan when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam and he told them to bow, what happened? Out of pride, shaitan says, I am better than him. I am made of fire and he is made of clay. 
So my dear brothers and sisters, let us all take lessons from these few ayats and from the few hadiths of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and try to better ourselves insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make good for us our religion whereby we are guided. The life in this world wherein we live and the life hereafter where to we shall return. May he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins, cover our faults, and protect us against the evils of our own souls. May he grant victory to Islam and Muslims. May he forgive me, you, and all Muslims. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafana wa iyaakum bi ayati zikri al-Hakim. Inna hu ta'ala jawarun karimun maliku bararu furahi. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he nav mother who wanna stay in a who wanna stag of her who wanna uminobi, wanna tawaka luale, wanna uzu bila him in shururian fusina, waming sayatia malina, may yahadi hilla who falla mudilla, wamay yudlil who falla hadi Allah. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin bi adadi man salla wa sam Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin bi adadi man qada wa qam wa salli ala jamil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala kulli malaikatil muqarrabin وعلى إباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإيسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفغشاء والمنكر والبغض يا إذوكم لعلكم تذكرون ولا ذكر الله تعالى أولى وأولى وأأز وأجل وأتم وأحم وأكبر أقيم الصلاة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر